Hey guys, what's up? How are you? I hope that you guys are having an amazing one today. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Jarrell, and in today's video, we are going to be creating five looks, including this one right here, using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Fall Romance palette. I am probably the last person that is reviewing or trying this palette just because I thought that I had ordered it when it first released, but my order never went through. I don't know what happened there. So I ended up picking it up through Sephora. It got here and I was playing with it and I decided to create five looks for you guys. So I hope that you guys get inspired. If you decided to pick up this color story or this palette from Anastasia Really Hills, I hope that this video is helpful for you guys. If not, you can definitely use whatever you already have in your collection. But if you did not pick up this palette, you can always just take inspiration from uh, these looks and use what you already have in your collection. So let's go ahead and get into it. But before we do, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. You can also like this video because it helps me out so so much and you can also click on the little bell that will notify you whenever I upload a new video which is every single week and without further ado let's get started Again, I purchased my palette on the Sephora website and it retails for $55. This palette is made in the USA and it does have a shelf life of 12 months. Here we have all of the shades and I'm going to show you a little clip where I swatch all of these shades. And now that you guys have seen the swatches, let's go ahead and get into the looks. I'm going to start with a shade in leather and this shade is really pigmented so I'm starting a little bit at a time just to build it in the outer corner and also working it on my crease. I'm going to stand it out just a little bit and working it also on my lower lashes in the outer part. Again just working this shade little by little to where I feel satisfied and to deepen the outer corner I'm going to take the shade in thorns and this is a really nice forest green very very beautiful super pigmented I'm using a smaller brush just to really working in the outer corner and whenever there's not a lot of pigmentation I'm going to just start working it onto the crease and for the eyelid I'm using the shade in crown and this is a beautiful shade but it doesn't have a strong base so I am really going to pack it into the eyelid and just really build up the color to my desire I'm going in with a brush in the same shade just to perfect the look a little bit better I'm going to go in with this shade which is twilight this is even deeper than the other shade that I was talking Talking to you guys about and this also has like a green undertone I'm working it on my lash line as well as just cutting the crease a little bit and it looks so beautiful with the crown shade just cleaning things up and going back with twilight and just working out on my lower lashes and going in with crown again just to perfect the look and here is the first look Let's go ahead and start with our second look, taking the shade Mulberry, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to add it to the outer corner and little by little start building the shade and bring it into the crease. And then just to add a little bit more warmth to it, more rosiness to it, we're going to take Divine, which is super pigmented. I really did add a little bit too much, but just go in with a little bit at a time. And then I'm going to take the shade in Fireside to add it to the lid. And this shade is absolutely beautiful, like for a one and done kind of shade. And then right on top of that, just because I wanted to bring a little bit more purpleness to it, I'm going to use the shade in Moonlight. This does not have a strong base either, and you do have to build it up, but it really started building up um, right on top of Fireside, and I added it to the inner corner, and now taking the shade in Crimson, like you see me here, I'm using it as a liner for the outer corner, and just to darken my lash line, I'm going to clean things up. For my lower lashes, I'm using a combination of Mulberry and Divine, and just going to really run it on my lower lashes, and then in the inner corner, I'm going to use the shade in Moonlight, again just connecting everything together and here is the final look Alright guys, let's go ahead and create more looks using the Fall Romance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. The other two looks that I created, they needed to be voiceover just because I filmed them really late at night. But here we are during the daytime and getting more looks using this palette, which I'm super happy about. So let's go ahead and just create something a little bit more wearable, but it's still going to be a little bit smoky just because, as you can see, the palette does have a lot of deep shades, a lot of depth. So it's not going to be like super, super light. Um, 
yeah but let's go ahead and get into it i am going to be using my rougher brushes as well as what's up beauty brushes i am going to link them down below in the description area just like i am going to be linking everything else that i have been using for this video so i'm going to be using the rougher 16 brush and i'm going to take the shade amber which is this one right here it does have a little bit of glitter but i'm pretty sure that once we dust it off it's not going to be as shimmery again I'm trying to see if I can make it wearable, but you can see the pigmentation is definitely there. So just take a little bit at a time and just build from there. I'm going to add this shade, my outer corner and on my crease and just bringing it in little by little and running a little bit of this shade as well on my lower lashes and standing it out just a little bit, not too much. And once there is not a lot of product on the brush, I'm going to blend it out there's not a lot of sparkle to this shade it looks more sparkly on the pan than it actually does on the eyes so just building up the color to the intensity that i like taking a smaller brush like this this is the refer 13 brush and i'm going to take the shade at mulberry and i'm going to just deepen my outer corner a little bit so really pressing down the color and blending it right in the outer corner and dragging a little bit of that in the lower lashes just in the outer part so going back with the original brush that we were using before just to blend things out all right so now with my finger i'm going to take the shade fireside which is this one i'm going to press it down all over my lid like this just meeting with the other shades that we have in the outer corner. This shade does emphasize a little bit of the texture that I do have in the inner part of my eyes. So if you have, like me, mature lids, just know that that's going to happen. This is the most that I'm going to do for this eye. I wanted to add a little bit of a pop of color in the inner corner because I thought that that would be nice. But you can definitely do that. I am not going to do it because I'm going to stick to my word and just keeping it wearable. So I am going to take the shade and smoke and add it to the inner corner and i'm going to bring it up a little bit i'm going to take like a um, smaller brush like this one this is the sigma e56 brush and fire sign just to make sure that they are meshing well together all right super gorgeous i am going to take the shade mulberry and just smoke it out on my lower lashes wearable but smoky at the same time so just grab a little wipey and just clean things up you can definitely add falsies if you want to but i am just going to curl my lashes and add mascara and show you the final look of this eye right now So I am back with this face and we're going to work on this eye right now. With a Sigma E27 brush, I'm going to take this shade right here, which is called Crimson. And I'm going to add it to my outer corner, stay really, really close to my lash line. And then bring it into the crease, really defining that V. So I'm going to press it down first so we can add the pigmentation and then once... We have that i'm just going to blend the edges and just to add a little bit more definition i'm going to take midnight and just add in it to the outer corner as well and this is definitely going to help us out on blending out the first shade i mean look at the pigmentation that is insane so now taking a clean brush and i am going to use the what's up beauty r105 brush and again taking the shade crimson just a little tiny tiny bit and we're going to blend the edges taking the same brush that i added the primer with just to run it by the edges because i feel like it's becoming super patchy and muddy so just adding a little bit of midnight again so just cleaning a little bit of the edge right here so i'm going to take a moonlight with my finger i'm going to add it to the lid going in with a brush this is the refer 02 brush making sure that i am really really packing on this shade and now using the shade smoke to highlight the inner corner again for the lower lashes i'm just going to take the shade midnight really smoke it out on my lower lashes i'm going to add a little bit of smoke on my brow bone for this look and also adding smoke to the brow bone on this eye so now adding mascara to this look right here and show you the final look all 
Alright guys, so here we have two more looks and I gotta say that I really really like this one but I also like this one but it's a little bit more out there it's definitely not for every single day but this one is so beautiful I absolutely love the metallic shade and even though it emphasizes a little bit of uh, the texture it's very minimal I don't really mind it but what do you guys think let me know so far which ones are your favorite looks and I am going to go ahead and remove all of this makeup off and create the final look which it will be my fifth and last look for this palette right here and then I'll give you my final and overall thoughts of this palette and let's go ahead and create our final look for this look I really just want to play with the palette and just mix a couple of colors maybe I mean that's that's what I'm thinking but we'll see what happens so I'm going to grab this little tiny brush and I'm going to take the shade divine which is this one right here so I am going to just create my shape with this shade like I'm creating a wing liner you can use the majority of the shades just for liners I mean they are so pigmented it is insane so just going to create a little bit of definition right here in the inner part of my crease All right, guys, I got into it. My sister called me, and I do apologize for that, but yeah. Um, let me just tell you, I am loving this look. So I have been using like this little tiny brush right here, just in case you guys wanna know. This is a lip brush from Sigma, it's the L04. It is a perfect just because it is like fluffy but dense at the same time, so you can really create your wing liner. So I went ahead and used the first shade, like I told you, Divine, just to create the wing liner, and I added it over here. So I've just been like really just adjusting this one right here, just to make them match but of course they're not going to be super perfect and of course I went ahead and used the shade crown which is like my favorite shade because I adore adore green shades so much especially when they are like this they're just so good so the shade that I've been using a lot is this one right here in the inner corner which is a moonlight and I really thought that it was going to be like a little bit more sparkly it's a little bit more metallic than sparkle I mean there is a little something special there, but I thought that it was going to give me more. But nonetheless, it is a beautiful, beautiful shade. So what I want to do, I actually want to add a little bit more sparkle to it. So I am going to take the shade in Smoke. This one does have like a really nice sparkle to it. So I'm just going to add just a tiny bit on top of it. I'm going to run it like right here at the very top of it where the pink shade and the green shade meet just to give us again more sparkle to this look what do you guys think i know that it's not going to be for everybody but i just wanted to have a little bit of fun with this palette so i'm going to do my base just curl my lashes and that mascara and show you the final look for this look right here and here we have the fifth and final look overall what i think about this palette i think that it's really nice and beautiful especially if you are into this color story i absolutely love the greens the depth that this palette is going to give you is insane so if you're looking for something a little bit more ethereal you're definitely going to stick with this shade right here and this shade and a little bit of the darker sheets like a really tiny bit just so you do not make it too smoky i think that this palette is definitely going to be a little bit more suitable for medium skin tones to deeper skin tones just because of the depth of this palette it's insane which i really really appreciate it especially if you are into those smoky looks which this palette is definitely going to provide that for you you do have to be very very careful with the deeper shades just because again you can like really intensify it and it could get a little bit muddy it's it's a little bit too much <laughs> so just 
going a little bit out of time so that is the only thing that I can really say to you about this palette overall I think that it performed very very well I am very very happy just because the other palettes that we've been getting from Anastasia Beverly Hills have been a little bit more softer a little bit more ethereal especially the last one if I am not mistaken but this one is definitely going to give you like subculture but in a really nice level which the shades are actually blending they are working just fine it's not you know you know anyways i hope that you guys have a wonderful day thank you so much for being here thank you so much for your love your time and support please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already and i will see you next time